Once there was a young monk who had recently joined a Zen monastery. He wanted to learn and make progress on the path of enlightenment. However, he often felt lazy and had trouble getting things done. One day, the young monk talked to the Zen master and admitted his struggle with laziness. He said, Master, I really want to overcome my laziness and fully dedicate myself to the practice, but I always find myself getting distracted and wasting time. Please guide me on how to overcome laziness. The Zen master looked at the young monk with kindness and said, I understand your struggle, my child. Laziness is a common obstacle on the path of self-realization. I will share a teaching with you. The next morning, the Zen master took the young monk to a nearby garden. They stood before a tree that looked weak and dying, covered in moss and spiderwebs. The Zen master pointed to the tree and asked the young monk, What do you see? The young monk looked at the lifeless tree and replied, Master, I see a neglected tree that is dying. The Zen master nodded and said, Indeed, this tree used to be full of life, but now because it has been neglected, it is suffering. Just as this tree needs care and attention to regain its vitality, your spirit also needs nurturing to overcome laziness. The young monk understood the message behind the Zen master's words. From that day on, he made a decision to actively develop discipline and hard work in his practice. He approached each task, whether it was meditation, work, or study, with full attention and dedication. Slowly but surely, the young monk began to overcome his laziness and experience the transformative power of focused effort. This Zen story reminds us that laziness can be overcome through paying attention and being committed to a disciplined practice. By approaching each moment with focus and wholeheartedness, we can go beyond laziness and discover our true potential. So, hope you understand that by putting discipline in your life, one can overcome laziness and find his true self. If this story helps you in any aspect of your life, then like it, share it, and you can also subscribe to Inspire Me Now for watching more stories like these. Until then, stay blessed.